there's the cliche behind the starving artist. You know, if you're going to create something or, or be a professional painter or something, you're going to struggle. And I, and I knew having a family, having a wife and kids was something that I wanted one day. And I just didn't think that art was something that I could do full time. Thinking to myself that I couldn't be, I could never be a, a full-time artist. I also wanted life experience. I wanted to exercise virtues that I admired, virtues of um, masculinity, of heroism and, and courage and bravery and hunting and outdoors, you know, all these things that I still wanted to do and accomplish. And, and my father served in the military and I always admired uh, service members. and. I wanted to serve at the, the highest capacity that I could if I was going to do something like that. And so I enlisted in the United States Navy, uh, served as a, a Navy SEAL for just short of 10 years, and then made a transition as a, as a civilian. I was actually working at a tech job when I first got out and, and found that that was not a good, a good suit for me. And fortunately, my art took off early enough when I started painting that I could pursue that full time. I think if you look at my work, you're going to see the inspiration of my time in the SEAL teams. I, it was the past, you know, almost a decade of my life that I spent in that environment. So there, it's gonna be almost impossible for me to not draw upon that experience uh, that I had there. But really, I don't want that to be like the direction of my work. Why I, why I like drawing upon those elements and stuff, I hope that the viewer, when they look at my work, they see elements of masculinity, virtues of like courage and commitment and sacrifice. And then they see my work and they think of those things, not just a guy in a uniform or, or uh, interesting you know, position or situation that that person in the picture is in, but like real things that we can aspire and we can actually be. It's every artist's dream to be able to support themselves and their family with their, with their work. But I, I think it's important, like a director doesn't make a movie just to make a ton of money. He has something to say. He wants to invoke a, an emotional response from you. A musician doesn't play a symphony just to, to play in a concert and have fun, right? They want you to feel something. And I hope that when somebody looks at my artwork, it pulls that out of them. I hope that when they see it, they do feel inspired to be better, that they do want to be more courageous. I was, I was talking to somebody earlier. I, I think I really want to marry some of the ancient truths and wisdoms in the Bible with that warrior spirit, that that's the experience that I have in the SEAL teams with the artistry of our time. I don't believe that the the Renaissance, that 14th, 15th century artwork is the greatest the world ever, has ever seen. I don't think that the Impressionist painters of the 18th century is the best artists that we're ever going to see. And I don't think it's the golden age of illustration. I think, you know, if tech is better, if automobile industry is getting better, our video production's getting better, like why isn't our art the best that it's ever been? And I think we're on the, the cusp of like some of the greatest artwork humanity's ever seen. And, and I just really wanna be a part of that.